Hi folks, on this episode of Hit the Mahogany we're going to do a extremely simple cocktail. Very, very simple. Only two ingredients, or three if you push it. We're going to do the gimlet. Alright? Before I do that though, if you could pop down below, uh, if you could subscribe, big thumbs up, like this, that would be awesome as well. And then the ingredients and all the directions are down there as well, okay? Alright, gimlet. Two ingredients. Vodka. Was for a while, but gin is actually what it should be made with. And then a uh, lime juice. Rosie's lime juice uh, is the most popular ingredient that's going to go into this. What I'm actually going to do to this evening is try it uh, with the lime juice and then also try it with uh, some simple syrup and fresh lime juice to see what the difference is. I'm going to be honest, I've never had a gimlet before. And maybe that's because uh, I'm not a sailor. And the background to this one is, again, like so many stories. Blah, 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 British, blah, 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 sailors going all over the world, blah, blah, blah. Wondering why they're not feeling well. They've got scurvy. How do you cure scurvy? Give them something with vitamin C in it. So you give them fruit. How do you make people take, uh, take their vitamin C? You know what? Throw in some booze. Sailors, booze. Give them the vitamin C. Hey, presto, you're all set. You've got healthy sailors. Anyway, that's the background to this one. Kind of sums it up pretty quickly. So let's get started on this one. I'm actually just going to use Tanqueray. When I say just use, I don't mean there's anything wrong with Tanqueray, but uh, I'm not going to do one gin for one and one gin for the other one because I actually want to be able to compare and see what the difference is between the two here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to use two and a half parts gin for each one of these. So that's two in that one. Doing that one. Let's do half. Half there. And half into that one. That's our two and a half ounces of gin. That's all the spirits that are going into it. So it's pretty strong. Because there isn't going to be much anything else into it. So in one of them, we will use Rosie's Lime. Oh, un you know what, that's an unforgettable smell, that really is. It was the kind of thing, depending on which side of the pond you're from, you may have grown up with this. Just some of this and then a splash of water to make your lime juice to drink, you know. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use one ounce of the Rosie's Lime Juice. I wonder if we actually call it Lime Cordial. We kind of call it a little bit more lime cordial, actually, as opposed to lime juice. Uh, and then the other one, we're going to do half an ounce of simple syrup. Oops, didn't put the lid on properly on that, that's leaked out. Ugh. Sticky, sticky, sticky. It's only sugar and water. That's a one-to-one -one mix for the uh, simple syrup there. And then half an ounce of our lovely fresh lime juice. And that is all that you need in there. Now, some ice. Uh -oh. Now you are going to want quite a bit of dilution in this because it's really just, it's gin with just a splash of fruit. Uh, that should do us. Plenty of ice in there. One. Two. And let's shake these ones up there. Hmm. As I do that, a little story. There's a... When I, when I first came over to the US, I remember going to a hotel bar and they, uh, it was the first time I saw somebody free pouring whiskey, uh, which was absolutely fantastic as opposed to, you know, whether it's a fifth or a sixth of a jill that you, you get from the optics or whatever measure in uh, many other places, including Scotland as well. So I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. Uh, needless to say, that was a very interesting evening. But I learned something. Uh, that particular town that I was in, 
they have a, a very old bylaw because I, I'd actually bought somebody else a drink as well and I tried to walk away from the bar to take it to the table. Of course, this was before I realised, you know, there was meant to be waitress service there as well. But what the woman said is, I can't let you take both drinks away. And I was, well, why? No, oh, you're not allowed to double fist. I'm like, what do you mean by that? Well, the bylaw in this particular town is that you're not allowed to hold two drinks. So I had to take one drink over, come back, get the other one and take it over to my friend. It was just, uh, so there's one of those uh, puritanical laws that just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Uh, of course, that wouldn't uh, work particularly well when it comes to uh, last orders in some certain countries where everybody gets up and gets themselves two pints or three pints to tide them over and slam them down before the end of the night. Long gone are those days. Always drink responsibly, of course. Okay, done. Now, martini glasses. One, two. Get this one in here. That diluted nicely, actually. So that looks as though that was good there. That's one. Oh, I've got condensation on the top of this one. Ugh. Give me a second while I get this one off. There we go. Got it. She knows which one was which. Okay. Much difference in colour? Oh, not really. This one I think has got more. Oh, it's a bit clearer at the bottom there. Okay, garnish. Nice and simple. Lime. That is it. One that way. Or one. Just floating on the top. Or sinking to the bottom, apparently. Okay, so this one's cleared up quite a bit because it's the roses. Uh, the other one's a little bit more cloudy. So I have never had a gimlet before. So this is my first time actually having one. I'll start with the. Uh, which one do you think I should start with? You know what? I'll start with this one. Let's go for it. Summer's coming. It's a good gin. Good base flavour on it. Can't knock it at all. Just a little bit of citrus, sweetness. It's just great. It's refreshing. It's clean. It's clean on the palate. It really is. Anything that jump out? Eh, there's nothing that really grabs you. But it's... It's a good, clean, straight up, nice drink. Definitely. Alright. I'll try the one with the simple syrup and the uh, fresh lime juice. Oh yeah. A little bit different. The gin is coming through a bit stronger in that one. The lime juice is not quite, even although it's fresh, it's as though there's more of the lime juice coming through in the one that had the, the roses in it. Just a, just a fraction more. I'll taste this one again. Yeah, it's interesting. And there's a few people that, are, you know, should you go with everything that's from base or should you use the roses? The roses is what you're actually going to get in most bars. And you know what? Let me just... Somebody's going to have to drink both of these anyway, so unfortunately it's going to be me. I'm going to sleep well this evening. Even although I like that one, I didn't think I would say this, but I must admit, I actually prefer the one that's got the roses in it. And I think it's because... I think it's because, the, the, even although the gin tastes stronger in this, the, the, uh, the lime and the simple syrup have less of an impact on that gin flavour. This one actually tastes quite a bit smoother. So my vote, anyway, is to go with the lime cordial. So I, I don't know if you can get any simpler than that. If you've got gin, you've got roses, lime juice, some ice, 
and definitely put a garnish in it, but uh, I'd probably try and find one that uh, floats or actually sits on the side there. I like that. Alright everybody, enjoy your gimlets and uh, cheers until the next time, okay? Cheers.